Good morning, everyone. Um, we have, um, there's been a, there's a big set of events that have been taking place from uh, uh, July 16th through August 9th. And this is a period of time in New Mexico where we commemorate the bombing at the Trinity site in 1945. We also commemorate the 1979 spill at Church Rock that also occurred on July 16th. We commemorate um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki days and in between those times CCNS and the Communities for Clean Water is having a conference and forum about the water issues and we invite you all to attend next week, starting on Thursday, here at the Santa Fe Community Convention Center from 8.30 to 1. We're going to have um, internationally known speakers as well as local experts. And we have a flyer here about this event. Um, and then in the evening on Thursday, July 26th, there's um, the Santa Clara Pueblo Forestry Department is going to present about the impacts of this most conscious fire. And I believe that there's going to be a film. And it will be one of the few times when um, that information will be available or be out in the public. So it's, it's really an opportunity. Also, Michael Barcelona will be speaking um, about the groundwater impacts and the fact that the groundwater flow from Lano is actually to the northeast towards um, San Alfonso Pueblo and the Buckman Wells. Um, on Friday, we're having a conference called Runoff, Risk, and Community Empowerment, Your Role in Cleanup at Lanel. And we're going to talk about uh, the new, two new permits. One's a hazardous waste permit, one's a stormwater permit for the laboratory. We're also going to have a big section on health where Dr. Maureen Merritt, who works with workers and with um, public health, is going to speak. And then um, Dr. Wiggins, who's in charge of the New Mexico Tumor Registry, will be speaking about um, the latest cancer and immune um, problems that people are having in the statistics, with the statistics. And Michelle Swain is going to speak, be speaking about Native American um, statistics. So it's really an opportunity to become educated in this whole period of time between July 16th and August 9th about what's happening at Lanel. Um, so there's flyers back here on the, on the table as well as copies of the Green Fire Times. And we were fortunate enough to have an article um, about the, clean, the communities for clean water and Dr. Camila Bustamante about risk. And Dr. Camila Bustamante, who's with Northern New Mexico College, will be speaking as a keynote on Friday. And then there's an, an ad on the next page here. So pick one of these up if you haven't already. And then we're going to talk about, um, we have two experts this morning to speak about um, money and the Lifetime Extensions Program. Jay Coglin with Nuclear Watch New Mexico. Um, I've been working with Jay, I think we met in, at Bill Blankenship's two decades ago or more. Um, and Jay has been instrumental in um, bringing the Clean Air Act litigation in the early 1990s. He's been instrumental in working with um, on the stockpile stewardship litigation. Um, which was a national suit in the mid-1990s. Um, he's been called a, um, what is the word, a FOIA? A serial. Oh, a serial. Um, someone who uses the Freedom of Information Act on a serial basis, <laughs> um, which is great. And um, yeah. for government. For government. And uh, most recently has been instrumental in um, providing the technical information to Congress and to the um, important congressional committees about why we don't need the new bomb factory that's proposed by Los Alamos National Laboratory. And um, 
his his relationships with the congressional delegation and with the members of the uh, congressional staff is is so important for why the CMRR is not going to get funded this year, and we're grateful for that. And then we also have Michelle Victoria, who told me that she's an artist and activist. <laughs> and we're grateful for all of her work to put um, to be part of the team yes. to put together the Nuke Free Now events, and she'll give us more details about that. So with that, um, whoever wants to go first. Thank you.